Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the bounds on the correlation coefficient between two random variables x comma y. So the correlation coefficient between two random variables x comma y is defined as the ratio covariance x comma y divided by square root of variance of x multiplied by variance of y. So this is the correlation coefficient. Our goal is to prove that it is bounded by minus 1 and plus 1. So in order to do that, we define another random variable w which is which can be defined as x minus ay. So we basically define new random variable which is equal to x minus ay. a is a still unknown value. So we can define the variance of this new variable w as variance of x minus ay which is equal to by definition expectation of x minus ay square minus expectation of x minus a y whole square which is equal to expectation of x square plus a square into expectation of y square minus 2 times a into expectation of x into y and the terms from this square are expectation of x whole square minus a square expectation of y whole square plus 2 times a into expectation of x into expectation of y. By using the usual notations for uh, the variance and the mean, we have, we can rewrite this term as, well, basically uh, the variance of w will be equal to sigma square x plus a square times sigma square y minus 2a into covariance of x comma y. Where Variance of x is equal to sigma square x. Variance of y is equal to sigma square y. And covariance is defined as expectation of xy, which is the correlation between x and y, minus mu x into mu y. So, these are the definitions. So, this is the variance of the uh, new random variable w. But since the variance of a, any random variable is always non negative, we can write, rewrite this, uh, we, we can write that sigma square x plus a square sigma square y minus 2a times covariance of x comma y is always greater than or equal to 0. By, re by rearranging the terms, we can say that covariance of x comma y is always less than or equal to sigma square x plus a square sigma square y divided by 2a. So, this is the uh, bound on the covariance value. That is covariance of x comma y is always less than this ratio. Now we want to find the value of a that will actually occur at the bounds. So since the covariance of x comma y is bounded by this value divided by 2a, we want to find the value of a at which this, this value reaches its maximum and minimum values. That is we want to derive, we want to basically differentiate it with respect to a and equate to 0. So, this will give 1 by 2a into sigma square x plus a by 2 into sigma square y is equal to 0. So, now by differentiating we have sigma square x into mi minus 1 by a square plus sigma square y is equal to 0. Uh, uh, basically, we just cancel the 2. So, we have by rearranging these terms, we have a square is equal to sigma square x by sigma square y. Therefore, a is equal to plus or minus, basically a is equal to plus or minus sigma x by sigma y. Therefore, covariance of x comma y you see, is less than or equal to sigma square x plus, I mean it will be less than the value when a is equal to positive sigma x by sigma y. That is will be sigma square x by sigma square y into sigma square y divided by 2 times sigma x by sigma y which is equal to by cancelling the sigma square y so we have 2 sigma square here a sigma square x here and then we have sigma x sigma x times sigma y therefore the correlation coefficient sigma rho x comma y is equal to covariance of x comma y divided by square root of sigma square x sigma square y 
and which is less than or equal to sigma x sigma y by sigma x sigma y which basically is equal to plus 1. Therefore, sigma x comma y is less than or equal to 1. For the lower limit, we can use the value a is equal to minus sigma x by sigma y. So, for a equal to minus sigma x by sigma y, the inequality becomes sigma square x plus a square sigma square y minus of 2 times minus sigma x by sigma y into covariance of x comma y is greater than or equal to 0. And by putting the a equal, by inserting the value sigma square x by sigma x by sigma y here, we have 2 sigma square x plus 2 times sigma x by sigma y into covariance of x comma y. And this is greater than or equal to 0. By rearranging, we can clearly say that covariance of x comma y is greater than or equal to minus sigma x sigma y. And by dividing with the uh, square root of sigma variance of the, the product of the variance, uh, we have the correlation coefficient on the left hand side which is always greater than minus sigma x sigma y by sigma x sigma y which is equal to minus 1. Therefore, sigma the, uh, the correlation coefficient rho x comma y is greater than or equal to minus 1. Hence, the bounds on the correlation coefficient are minus 1 less than or equal to correlation coefficient that is rho x comma y less than or equal to 1. Thanks for watching.